This is a locking clip, and while you may never ever have to use one, in this video, I'm gonna show you why you might. There are three main reasons you may have to use a locking clip. If you have a vehicle that's manufactured before model year 1996, you don't have locking vehicle seatbelts, which means you can't safely install a car seat with the vehicle seatbelt. That's one reason. Another reason is if you're traveling internationally, many of the vehicles do not have locking seatbelts either. So you've got to be prepared for how you can manually lock your car seat in place. The third reason is if you have a lightweight car seat like this one, a locking clip may help keep the seat from tilting. Here's how you use this. We're pretending that we're in a vehicle that doesn't have locking seat belts. Go ahead and route the vehicle seat belt through whatever belt path you're using based on the direction your car seat is facing. I'm obviously using the rear facing belt path. Buckle it in. Now, because we don't have help of a locking seat belt, we've got to get the seat belt as tight as we can and then we're gonna add this locking clip on to hold it in place. So I'm gonna use the inside out trick to get it as tight as I can, pushing down and pulling. All right, that feels like it's probably pretty good and tight. Now I can't lose my work here. So pinch the shoulder belt and lap belt together. I, I kinda need to use my whole hand. <laughs> A pinch isn't gonna cut it. And then we're gonna add the locking clip onto the vehicle seat belt. You're gonna wanna do this about an inch above the belt buckle. So place your locking clip on top about an inch up from the belt buckle. And then you're gonna weave it in. Again, don't release that, that slack because we don't wanna have to do this again. Weave it in. Okay. Are you ready for this? Because this is when you're gonna sweat a little. Now we got it, this is locked now. This seatbelt, the length of it has been controlled, but now we gotta get this thing back in that belt buckle. So if you have another set of hands with you, that can be super helpful. If you don't, prepare to get your exercise in for the day. Once your locking clip is in place, you're gonna do a test for tightness. So give it a little wiggle right here at the belt path to make sure it doesn't move more than an inch in any direction. And then of course, triple check your recline line that it didn't shift at all while you were, you know, putting all your body weight into buckling that vehicle seatbelt. It looks like we are good to go here. When it's time to get out, you're simply going to unbuckle the vehicle seatbelt and remove the locking clip. So as you can see, using a locking clip is a little bit of an art and a science. It definitely takes some practice. So if you're gonna need to use one, get some rounds in. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.